Hey, welcome back to another episode of Restaurant Remake and today we are making another Cheesecake Factory pasta. So it is the farfalle with chicken and roasted garlic sauce. Now if you have not yet subscribed to our food travel shopping channel, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification for our latest video and updates. Let's get cooking! Here are the ingredients for the farfalle with chicken and roasted garlic sauce. And right now, the roasted garlic are missing because it's being roasted in the oven for 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Now make sure when you put in the garlic, you also put in some olive oil. Okay, so in a pan, I'm gonna heat up the pan a little bit first. Okay, so we're gonna let this render here. So I just want to separate the bacon a little bit. Okay, so now this is approximately good for us to take it out. So we're gonna, okay, with the remaining bacon uh, fat here, so we can actually put this, put in the chicken. Lay them flat a little bit. And after three minutes, we can actually flip it. So this is gonna be a medium high heat. Okay, so we can now remove this from the heat. Okay, so with my other pot here, I'm, I'm using a the Le Creuset Brazer pot. And because I'm gonna use this to serve as well, I'm gonna put in some olive oil in. We want to just simply kind of oil the pan here. And two tablespoons of the butter here. And we want to melt the butter here. Now I'm going to add in the mushroom. So we're going to saute the mushroom here. Down. All right, so I'm just gonna season the mushroom here with some black pepper. And we're gonna continue to cook this down. I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt. Okay, so the mushroom is almost halfway done and I am now gonna add in the onions. So we're gonna camerize the onion. Okay, so we're camerizing the onions here and now we can add in the sun-dried tomato. And we're going to continue to do this in the medium high heat here for another three minutes. Okay, right, so now we're going to deglaze the pan with our white wine. So the white wine I'm using is a Chardonnay and we're going to deglaze the pan. Now once this is kind of reduced here, I'm going to add in my peas, my green peas here. Okay, so we're going to kind of heat the peas up here, the frozen peas. Look at the color, it's already very nice. Okay, I'm going to add in my one cup of heavy cream. And we're gonna incorporate that in. Okay, so right now I'm doing it in the medium high heat. And we're gonna simmer this back up. Okay, so I wanna show you my the outcome of my roasted garlic. And this is how it came out. And I just wanna give it a little mash here. 
put it slightly a little bit longer than I needed to. All right, so it's now it's like a little bit more crispy. Okay, so we're gonna give this a good mix. And now we're trying to kind of um, incorporate the roasted garlic flavor into the sauce here. All right, so just for a little bit more seasoning here with the black pepper. Okay, so now we can add back our bacon pieces as well as our chicken back in. And let's give this a good and well mix. Really combine the sauce here with the chicken. All right, so our sauce is ready. And I'm just gonna put this to the side. Okay, so I wanna show you the uh, pasta. We're gonna boil some water. We're gonna add in some salt. And we're gonna add in some olive oil. Okay, so I'm gonna add in my farfalle once. I have my water boiled. All right, so the box says cook to 11 to 12 minutes for this one. I'm gonna actually cook it just for 10 minutes because I am gonna incorporate it to the sauce. And as, as I incorporate the sauce, I'm gonna uh, turn on in medium heat to mix it together. So I don't want to overcook the pasta. Okay, so the water is now boiled. I am gonna add in my pasta and I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna give it a good stir here first. Okay, so it's time to incorporate the pasta into our sauce. Give a good toss here with our pasta with the sauce. Okay, so finally I have some parsley. So I wanna sprinkle them a little bit. And I'm gonna give it a good stir here. Okay, so the sauce is just about right. Okay, so this pasta is not meant to be heavily sauced. You just want to have just enough where the sauce is gonna cover your farfalle pasta. And you know, it's coated with nice color right now. Okay, so we just wanna continue to just incorporate this in. Look at this massive plates of pasta. So this is definitely a family size recipe, right? It's good to feed the whole family. And look at our complete dish. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so now we're ready for plating. So this, I used the, as I mentioned earlier, I used the La Crusette braised pan here to serve. And this is one way to serve a family style. Now, I will top this with some Parmesan cheese on top. Now for plating, you can also put it on one of these pasta plates. And I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so we're gonna scoop our pasta in. Put it in the center. Okay. Mmm, smells so good. I can definitely smell the roasted garlic. So now we can just put the cheese right in the center. And finally, put one more parsley. Okay, so this is our chicken and farfalle with the roasted garlic sauce. Bon appetit! Okay, so let's give our chicken and farfalle with roasted garlic sauce a taste. Let's dig in. Here. Hmm. Okay, I didn't too, put too much salt, so that's good. You can taste the bacon flavor. I'm gonna try the some dried tomato. You can definitely taste the roasted garlic with the pasta. The pasta is perfect al dente. Yeah. So this is 
the salt with this dish is actually um, perfect to my taste because the one that uh, we purchased at the cheesecake factory that we did the takeout and from the picture, it looks good after I put it on the plate. <laughs> but um, that was way too salty. This one is so much better to um, how we normally eat. Um, the salt contents is a lot less. Um, and you know, the good thing about cooking at home is, you know, the wine that I incorporated in this dish, I can drink with the wine. And this is another success with my recreation of the Cheesecake Factory chicken and farfalle with roasted garlic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really enjoy the contents that I've been showing to you, please give me a like below and subscribe to our food travel shopping channel. Now feel free to comment on my video that what is your favorite Cheesecake Factory dish. So, so far I've been doing a lot of Cheesecake Factory dish. I am considering doing more on the Cheesecake Factory dish. So I would appreciate if you comment below and share with me what is your favorite dish? Is it pasta or is it something else? Because they have so much things on their menu. You know, it's just like too much, right? You can check out the recipe link in the description box below. And also, please follow our Instagram, which is the Food Travel Shopping channel. And please stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching, guys.